Welcome back to Spotlight on Frazee. Last week we were interviewing Gordon Sanders here and uh, we ended off where uh, Gordon was over in Casablanca with his new ship and they were hauling stuff over to Iran in the eastern part of Mediterranean and uh, north north part of Africa. Yeah. And, uh, and so uh, how many years were you over in the service, Gordon? I was four years all total, mm -hmm. but I was uh, in Africa a while. And then I went back to the States again, and then I got a, a oh, we bur burned out one boiler. Uh -huh. So they kicked us off the ship in New <laughs> York and put us on a tanker. Ooh. And then we, we hauled oil to England. Yeah. And one morning when we got up, I hear them shooting. What the hell's going on around here? Because <laughs> you know, uh, 20 millimeters were rattling pretty good. Yeah. So when I got up and I went out and looked, and I says to the guy, what happened here? I, oh, he says, you see them things floating over there? And the mines were floating over there. Oh. They, they'd been uh, in the uh, North Sea. Uh -huh. English Channel. English the, Channel? Yeah, how to get that. I don't remember all these names <laughs> too good, you know. Yeah. yeah. It was floating down the English Channel, and they were shooting at these mines and blowing them up so it wouldn't hit them. <laughs> it was a little scary. Yeah. But, uh, worked, we got there and got unloaded. But then we run into a ship down there in the harbor. Yeah. And run a hole in the bow on the front end. Uh oh. Uh oh. What are we going to do now? Yeah. So we had to lay over and wait. And they didn't have the material and stuff that we'd had to weld up the hole or nothing. Mm -hmm. They filled it with cement. <laughs> and we had to sit there while the cement dried. Yeah. And uh, then <laughs> we took a uh, convoy out. Oh. Mm -hmm. And we had a battleship escort coming, yeah. coming back to the States. Mm -hmm. And we got it made it all right. But then we had to load up a load and go to cross the pond the other way through yeah. the Panama Canal, oh. which was uh, uh, quite a deal when we first went through the canal. Oh. That was wonderful. Yeah, I, it's, I, I just can't imagine all the work that went on in that, and just just still to go through the Panama Canal today has got to be phenomenal. And, and, and all the time it saved for the Navy to be able to come off the East Coast and head to the Pacific. Well, yeah, yeah. So the, I was working the other side then with oil yeah. and uh, hauling it over across the pond. Now you go to Hawaii then quite a bit, or or did you go to Midway? or? No. Uh, well, I went to 14 different islands, oh, okay. unloading a little here and there. They yeah. pump it off into a. Uh, they were made out of cement uh, barges, mm -hmm. believe it or not, made out of cement. Yeah. And then they fill them up, and then they could go up in the shallower water and, and unload their loads. See? Yeah. It was quite a deal. I got a. <clears throat> You got a picture of it there? Oh. There's one of the things I got when we were swimming. Uh huh. And a, uh, a conch shell. What you call them? Yeah. Picture it up. <laughs> Hard to believe that this stuff has been about 70 years out of the water. Yeah. <laughs> New Guinea. 1944. Yeah. The only bay, I was 14 different islands, but this is what, what's still on the. Mm -hmm. That's a corn, a coconut. Yeah. <laughs> the fellow that got that for me was a little pygmy. They were very big fellows. Yeah. And he went up a uh, uh, palm tree just like nothing. You know, <laughs> Big toes were about that big from going walking now, up. Climbing up the trees. Yeah. <laughs> and they kicked it down green. Yeah. yeah. And of course it ripened after that. So That's pretty good you've kept but, that all these years. Yeah, yeah. And then the kids start digging on it here one day, not very long ago. Yeah. They said, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to lose that. No. <laughs> pretty proud of that. Yeah. 
I so I carried that for many, many miles. Yeah. So then, uh, after you got through in the Pacific, then the uh, uh, war was done, and then well, uh, yeah, it was. But on the way home, we was uh, quite a ways out of Panama yet. Uh huh. When we lost the screw, one of the yeah, one of your drives, yeah. Uh, the drivers of the, and I was sleeping in the in the bunk in the basement. Mm -hmm. Right alongside of the, well, the, the shafts, oh, the, yeah. Oh, big shafts like that. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, when that broke off, and then she was lopsided and yeah. uh, started shaking the ship. And of course, they just slowed her down. So then all we could do was it would go bing, big, bing. <laughs> you know, we couldn't go very far. Yeah. We lived on mutton, and I was so sick of mutton. <laughs> yeah, that was terrible. Nah. But we did, after a couple of weeks, we kind of brought our way into Panama, and they put us in dry dock, and, and after dry dock, they finally got uh, a new screw from the city, or from New York down, and they put it on. But I didn't come, come home that way. I went, went on no. to Aruba. Yeah. That's where they had it done. Over in the Bahamas there. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, of course, then we got into northern part of Africa and stuff, was waiting for a way to get back to the States. Yeah. Well, they finally got a Norwegian ship. Guys are going to talk in English. <laughs> but uh, we finally got back to the state. Cold, rainy weather. Yeah. And uh, ice was frozen on the guns and everything. It was terrible. <laughs> but we got back home. That's when mm -hmm. kind of the war was over. So that would have been 1945 then? So it was uh, the latter part of 44 or okay. 45. No. Yeah. And then you came back to Minnesota. Yep. Yep. Oh, boy. You know, that's uh, quite the deal, you know. One of the things I wanted to talk to you about, you know, I, I know you were, were a boxer when you were in the Navy. You know, I did a little boxing in the fleet and... No, I didn't do much boxing. <laughs> <laughs> what, what rank did you come out of the service at, Gordon? Uh, Hawkson 2. Okay. Now. Yeah. Uh, like a sergeant. All right. You know, and uh, we're going to kind of wind up this segment here, and then uh, when we get come back to Gordon here for next week's segment, we'll be talking about Gordon back in Freezy after World War II. And we'll catch you next week on Spotlight on Freezy.